All right, we have new information here on Ripple XRP. Of course, they are in a heated battle with the SEC. They've been there for quite some time. We've got some new information to bring to you, though, so we're going to jump right into this. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Let us know what you think about all this once we get through it down below. So Watcher, shout out to them. They do a fantastic job keeping us up to speed and up to date on all things crypto, but they've done a really nice job with this whole case. Of course, this this entire case between XRP and Ripple has ripple effects on the entire crypto market. That's why it's so important and why we're staying on top of this. So Ripple to obtain copies of speeches by SEC officials. Now, these are former speeches. Of course, the big ongoing debate here is, is XRP a security, right? And what have people said in the past? So in the latest turn of events, Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn has granted Ripple Labs' request to serve two non-party subpoenas. Now, the request was filed on the 3rd of August to obtain copies of seven video recordings. Attorney James K. Filan revealed the decision of Judge Netburn. Filan is a critical source for the ongoing SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit. It says here in a text-only order, Judge Netburn granted the Ripple defendant's motion to serve two subpoenas to authenticate videos of seven SEC officials' public remarks and ignore the SEC's claim that defendants were trying to reopen fact discovery. Okay, so Ripple defendants request permission to serve non-party subpoenas to authenticate videos of, again, seven SEC officials' public remarks in connections with previous RFAs. SEC will not consent, and SEC seeks to reopen discovery. Now, what is Ripple trying to do here? Again, the letter highlights that the videos are uploaded on two platforms. However, the videos are subject to the platform's terms of service, which prohibit end users from downloading their copies without prior consent. After obtaining due consent, Ripple will send the videos to the SEC for their authentication. However, the letter highlights that the SEC has not consented to the request. The SEC will only agree to the request if Ripple agrees to reopen discovery. You could see this back and forth and how this plays out uh, in our system here. Reopening discovery would allow the SEC to both issue its own set of subpoenas. Now, additionally, this would enable the SEC to obtain recordings supporting its claims. Man, uh, this has been ongoing since December 2020. The SEC has accused the firm of selling unregistered securities worth $1.3 billion. Now, the agency also listed CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson as co-defendants. At press time, XRP still trading around the $0.37 cent range. Many people are still accumulating the, uh, the asset because if this goes well and they come out of it on the other side, they believe, and many people believe, XRP could fly as soon as it's listed back on major exchanges. Of course, it was the leader back in 27 uh, it is uh, down 89% from its all-time high of $3.40. So this is something we will keep a close eye on, but uh, this is kind of a shift. Of course, uh, this is something that we've been talking quite a bit about, uh, getting access to some of these speeches uh, based on you know these seven individuals and what was actually said way back when. Uh, so we'll, of course, bring you up to speed on the latest when we have it. Thank you so much for popping in. Let me know what you're thinking about this down below, how you feel about XRP, the case, everything and in between. I love hearing from you and uh, appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.